Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Veronica. Today I'll be sharing with you cleaning that took two days. The first day I dressed my home to make it look good for those who visit. The second day I focused on areas I would feel embarrassed about if shown. I had paperwork everywhere, stationery that was just all over the place and terribly dirty towels. It had to be sorted out. Come take a look. I always start in the bedroom, it just seems natural to me and it gets me motivated to continue to the rest of the house. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a wife, mother of three and work full time. This year has been very crazy and everyone has felt overwhelmed at some point. I create cleaning videos to motivate and inspire you to clean your own home when you need it the most. You will notice a tub with frames in it. My one wall in the entrance was covered with family pictures when we had our house painted. We took them down. Since we've been thinking about selling our house, I figured that it would be a waste to put them up again because we would just have to fix the walls again. But it's been a while since and we haven't, I still haven't gotten around to doing anything about it yet. Just like my headboard, it's on the back burner for another day. So while I'm cleaning the ensuite, I noticed that the grout that was never cleaned off properly since the tiles were put in was a disgrace and I put that on the list to tackle tomorrow which you will see later in this video.
now for the family bathroom. Our cat drinks out of the basin, hence the dirty paw prints everywhere. This is just a solution of dishwashing liquid and water, um, which I use place pretty much everywhere in this bathroom. The stationery that is piled everywhere is for the two girls. We have to drop off the stationery fully labelled at the school next week. This I will tackle tomorrow which I will share with you later in this video. In this spray bottle I have one part vinegar, one part water and I use it most often in all my cleaning. I have to keep the cat away from the stove because it's quite hot. I put the stove on, it just cleans a lot better that way.
And now for what always feels like the dirtiest room in the house, the scullery. We are very fortunate to have the scullery separate from the kitchen, otherwise the kitchen would always look so awful. For really dirty pots and pans, I usually use salt with an abrasive sponge. It really works unbelievably well. Thank you. 
And now for the laundry. I don't normally tumble dry everything, but these days it's been raining really, really so much. I haven't had a chance to hang anything up. My son's bedroom is always so neat, it's always such a pleasure just to go in and do a little bit of dusting and cleaning around, it really doesn't take much effort. I have recently posted an extreme clean kid bedroom video which I will link below in the description. It is such a game changer. I previously struggled cleaning their room and now it is so much better. I've created an office space and all the station from all over the house has been collected over here and this is what I'll be tackling tomorrow as I shared earlier.
This is where all the paperwork from all over the house has been dumped and this is also going to be tackled tomorrow and I'll be sharing with you later in this video. So this is where I'm trying to make out the labels for the corals. Each of them have to have their names on pens and pencils and basically every single stationery. Their books have to be marked. Um, so it really does take quite a lot of time. And um, especially since I've got to go through that list of about 20 times just to find out exactly what it is that the, the uh, teachers require for each of the books. See, I told you it takes so long and I still had to go shopping for my daughter's school skirts. We normally go as a whole family and we make quite a big deal of it. So now for that awful paper box that I was telling you about, trying to sort it out, I was actually hoping that I would get through the whole box and be able to chuck out everything and what have you. Um, it didn't turn out that great, it turns out most of the stuff needs a little bit more thought than what I expected and um, I landed up actually giving up halfway and chucking it in. But I did some progress, I did manage to throw away one packet of stuff that I could definitely say without a doubt it can be thrown away. Pretty much everything else it was uh, I'm in an R and maybe I'll have to file it away somewhere one day and maybe I'll have to, I don't know, shred it one day. Um, it really was a little bit of a problem. So as I left, I spilled all the ice cream that was on the corner over there which my husband brought, was able to bring to me. So yes, I was not in the best of moods and landed up putting everything back in a box and just giving up completely. We'll try again another day.
When we tiled the bathroom a couple of years ago, we cleaned it, but not with this industrial cleaner. This cleaner is very strong and I diluted it with one part solution and 15 parts water. The step ladder only has two steps and I wasn't able to reach the top. The room is also very small, but I did what I could and was pretty pleased with the end result. So this is the result of a two day clean. I do hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more cleaning videos and comment down below on how you tackle your cleaning. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Bye bye.